Good morning everybody, it's Rachel Tipton again. This morning I'm going to talk about Hagley Estates. I actually live in Hagley Estates and it's got a really nice country feel to it. A lot of really nice live oaks like this one, Spanish moss hanging and I'm originally from Virginia so I really like that because even though you're at the beach you still kind of feel like you're in the country. Um, actually back in Hagley there's a lot of unpaved roads. I live on a paved road because I kind of like a paved road but some people really like the unpaved roads back there in Hagley because it uh, keeps cars from going too fast and Hagley also has a very low homeowners association fee and it is a voluntary homeowners association and there's also not very many restrictions on what you can do with your property some people keep their boats in their front yard some people want to build a certain type of fence and certain neighborhoods have restrictions against that and Hagley does not so that's one thing that I do like about it. And Hagley Estates also has a very wonderful, rich history as well. Hagley Estates was first cut from the wilderness toward the end of the 18th century, cleared by rice planters who became very wealthy as they dominated agriculture on the Black River until after the Civil War. Hagley was named in 1801 when the land passed from the Pauley family to William Alston, who passed it to his son, Joseph Alston. Joseph and his wife Theodosia named Hagley after a well-known park back in London. The land passed from the Alstons to the Westons, namely Plowden Weston, who built the Pelican Inn on Polly's Island. Weston and his wife cherished Hagley as the most beautiful site of all the South Carolina rice plantations. The Civil War shook up the plantations, which depended heavily on slave labor, and most, including Hagley, fell to ruin. The property changed hands several times until it was subdivided in the 60s into approximately 1,200 lots. The Founders Club golf course currently weaves through a portion of Hagley, which is found at the south end of Polly's Island on the west side of Highway 17. It is a choice residential neighborhood with a variety of homes ranging from sprawling estates to modest and very affordable homes. It is a local's gem hidden amongst the gorgeous live oaks and hanging moss back in the woods of Polly's.